We talk about it every week. There's a reason why nobody wants the 25th Amendment invoked, because guess who would be president? Yeah, Kamala Harris. Here's a video again showing you why nobody wants her to be in the Oval Office. Leading on a kind of a fun note, a lot of calls this week for Joe Biden to step down because he's <laughs> mentally incompetent. That's not my opinion. That's the opinion of the Department of Justice Special Prosecutor appointed Here. by Biden Her, to look yep. into Biden and the records who came out and said he can't prosecute <laughs> Biden because he's mentally unfit <laughs> for trial. The obvious reason why nobody wants to invoke the 25th Amendment is who would become president. Kamala Harris, mm. I want you to make sense out of her speech uh, a couple days ago. I have been fortunate and blessed to, during the course of being vice president, have many situations where it becomes clear to me that there are, you know, people of every age and, and gender, by the way, who see something about being the first that lets them know they don't need to be um, limited by other people's limited um understanding of who can do what english motherfucker, do you speak it <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the great ones that's from uh, uh, one pulp of the fiction movies. pulp fiction pulp fiction yeah <laughs> samuel jackson um who is just one of the great treasures of hollywood um and it's true i mean she said two words that were just weird she said blessed and asians and completely out of context, the words didn't even make any sense. I don't even know what she's trying to say. Yeah. And the MSNBC reporter looks at her like this, as if she's explaining E equals MC squared, you know, Einstein's yeah. theory of relativity, because yeah. it's yeah. so sophisticated. Yeah. You know who else is like that, Barry? Gavin Newsom. If you listen to Gavin Newsom, he talked the same way. I'm like, what is he even talking about? Just go and rambles. So Joe Biden has lost his mind. Camilla Harris is losing her mind. And Gavin Newsom think that he's his mind is all there too. But well, his is saying, gone. Will Johnson, hold on to your britches, boy. They're talking about him being the next president of the United States. Well, you know, Joe Biden, Joe Biden would took a trip to California and, it, and the re news reporter asked Joe Biden, is he going to uh, California for plan B to talk to, you know, Newsom? You saw that, right? I mean, come on. Even the press is asking that question. Joe Biden, he's done. Well, do you realize, but here's something really curious. Nobody will, and I mean this literally, nobody's excited. I'm Forget the Republicans and the independents. Nobody in the, in the Democrat Party, nobody wants Kamala to be president, which is why the 25th Amendment isn't even being talked about seriously. Because they're afraid of word salads like that. Yeah. And yeah. And some people believe, and I do, some, you know, to an extent, that she, behind closed doors in the background, she's pushing for the 25th Amendment because no one wants her. And she, and I, I believe that she believes that this is the only opportunity that she's going to have to go down in history of being able to sit in the Oval Office as the top dog. That's yeah, the yeah. only way it's going to happen because Joe Biden is going to have to fall off. Well, if Joe Biden fell down dead, God forbid, there, there's no 25th Amendment invocation. No, you don't have to. It's automatic. It's automatic. Right? She takes over. It's automatic. They're, they're afraid of a coup where she replaces him. And then, and then what they're really scared of is there's this initiative then – well, the vice president automatically runs if the vice president is an incumbent, which she would be, right? Mm -hmm. And and she would automatically run for president. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what to do about it. Yeah, That's why they don't let her debate. Yeah, That's and, why they don't let her do press conferences, right? Yep. And on top of that, that's the reason why they will not uh, allow Joe Biden to do a cognitive test. Am I saying it right? Yeah, cognitive. You're right. Yeah, cognitive test. They, they, you know, because if he if he does the test, the results are going to come back. We're in trouble. He's got to go. Oh, come on. 
Is there one human being in America that thinks he would pass it? Honest to God. Is there one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everybody knows that he will fail it. That's the reason why they're pushing for him not to do it. Remember that the left, the radical left, they kept asking President Trump to do it. Take the test. Take the test. Take the test. President Trump took the test, passed it with flying colors. Joe Biden won't do it. Won't do it because he takes the test. If the doctor's going to be legit and do the right thing and tell the truth, he's going to come back and says, he's not there, everybody. He's failed the test. you got to do the 25th Amendment. They don't want to do it. Come on. If, if, if he's so sharp, Barry, as they're constantly saying, Kareem Jean-Pierre, he's sharp. Look what he's done for the country in the past three years. He's done more for the country than any other president. This is coming out of their mouths. He's as sharp as he is. He can't do a simple thing as a cognitive test. Something's because that simple. She, she's the paid stooge. Everybody knows it. Yes. Nobody believes a word she says. Look, yeah. the New York Times is going after her now. The Washington Post is going after her. And they're mad, the Barry. They're mad. The, the, the New York Times saying that Joe Biden is losing his mind. And now you're the government state media, the Democrats are telling the government state media to stop fact checking Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> They're seriously saying that. They said, stop fact checking Joe Biden. And then they said, if you're going to fact check anybody, fact check President Trump every day, put him on him on the front page. D never do Joe Biden. They're literally saying this. That's why I call him the government state media. Let me do the test with you really quick, Barry. You see this? Can you see that? Yeah, your hat. Okay. What, the, what was I just holding? A hat. You passed. See, that's, that's, what, that's all that it is. That's all it is. So if Joe Biden can't do that, if he can't do that, they show images. And, you know, there's a couple of things in there, and, you know, some questions. Rightfully so. But for the most part, the test is that easy. And they won't allow Joe Biden to take it. We're in trouble. We're, oh, I yeah. mean, we're, we're in so much trouble. That's why I said, brother, hold on to your britches. Uh, the next six months are going to be wild, all leading right up to November, because... Yep. Woo -wee. At some yep. point, he's going <laughs> to fall down the stairs of Air Force One and he's not going to get up. Oh, now they have Marines down at the bottom of the steps just in case. I know. Yeah. And he, and Even he, tripped, on the, he tripped twice yesterday. On the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> he tripped on the short bus. <laughs> I mean, dude, I mean, really? You know, it's yeah. really sad because it's elderly abuse at the same time. And when people get to a certain age, it just happens. It's just, just a natural thing in life. Joe Biden is gone. He, he's oh, barely he there. He can't complete a sentence. Every single time he gets in front of the camera, he's walking up the steps, he's going to mess up every single time. That's a problem. It used to be integrity. They used to hold integrity for that position. They used to. They no longer do. Well said, my friend. Well said.